quick little video on how one dad um, puts the go-kart on the scales um, using my electric lift and a floor jack in the front and uh, it takes a little bit of time but I make it happen so you see here I got the lift on the back floor jack on the front and I got predetermined marks on the floor of where I leveled these scales right or leveled these scale stands and uh, so basically I just slide the scale stands out of the way and I will uh, once I have this the go-kart in position then I'll go ahead and slide the scale stand back I'll set the scales zero them right and then I will set the card on the scales from there. And uh, on the, you know, to get it off the scales, it's just pretty much a reverse of this process. But uh, like I said, it's a lot easier to have someone help you lift it on the scales, but uh, I, I don't always have somebody and I, I try not to inconvenience my neighbors, although they are quite good about helping me, but uh, I try not to inconvenience them too often when I don't have to. Especially like right now, it's like 12.30 in the afternoon on a Monday and they're all at work. All right, so I'm about ready to set the go-kart on the scales. Um, I did not forget to zero, well, maybe I should zero out my scales. Zero out my scales. Air pressures are set. I got my parchment paper down, so because it kind of works like a grease plate and um, when you're setting toe and camber and stuff it keeps it from binding on the scale also works on the pavement it's all the pavement smooth and uh, all right now I'm just gonna drop the rear on first the front make sure the scales are centered on the tires to the best of my ability and uh, one thing about these electric lifts is they don't, when you got to pivot the go-kart from left to right one way or another, it doesn't really want to do that, um, but kind of is what it is, but uh, so I'm going to set toe or check toe, um, get the wheel mount here, check toe, and then we'll start writing numbers down. Alright, so now we're getting it off the damn stand, right? So you notice I already took my wires off, because if anything falls, I don't want it pulling on one of the wires. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, my scales out from under there, right? That way when I'm sliding things around, nothing falls off or whatever. And then I'll slide my, uh, I'll slide my um, scale stands out of the way. Alright, scales are out. And... there and I've noticed for some reason that it works a whole lot better to drop this before you pick it up with the electric car lift just more stable that way and away we go And that is how the one man dad can sit this, I don't know, 250 pound go-kart, I guess, on the scale stand without the kid's help. Um, one key thing is this thing does not rotate this way or that way very well, okay? Um, so you need to have the go-kart when you're lining it up as straight as possible. And uh, that's how I do it.